All right, this is part three of the Andy Warhol lesson. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to, uh, now that we've created our four sections here, uh, what we're going to do with this part of the project is we're going to take this project and, and these layers, and what we're going to do is create a new um, background layer. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, leave these the way that we see them right now, but we're going to create a new uh, layer here and what we're going to do is take the original image that we drew our uh, face on and drew the outline of our face on but what we're going to do now is we're going to take this image and we're going to select up here in the gray bar move it off to our right just a little bit and what we're going to do is create it so that we can place it over here on uh, these four individual uh, sections Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the eyeball off from this image. Uh, we don't want to move the layer with the image. We only want to move the layer that has the outline. So we're going to turn this eye off and so that we can just see the outline of the image that we've created. So we're going to go ahead and place this now over onto uh, these four different quadrants. And when we do that, we're going to create four new layers. So what we're going to do is select the Move tool and then we're going to select here on this layer and we're going to drag this image over and drop it now when we drop it it's going to change the size of it and as you can see it's much smaller so we're going to have to uh, make sure that our transform controls button is selected if it's not selected you won't be able to resize it so we want to select it and now we want to resize it and we're going to resize it all the way to the outer edges of this this document and we don't have to take it all the way to the top we want to leave a little bit of room at the top uh, you could take it all the way to the top and then you'll need to uh, place some different images colors here but I'm going to leave it just short of the top and I'm going to drag this down to uh, right here and notice that it goes all the way out to the outer edge of uh, our document that we've drawn here and we're going to do the same thing again. We can do a copy and paste and place in all four, or we can simply drag, resize, drop, and resize each individual image. So why don't we go ahead, now that we've resized this image, of course, we have to select File, uh, Save or Save As. We'll just do a little save here. It'll ask us to apply it. And, of course, it wants us to save a name to this, which we've already done. So... Uh, now what we can do is do a copy and paste so let's go ahead and while it's selected here do a uh, command C and now we can also do a command V as in velcro and we can do a new layer do a little copy and paste and we'll take this and place it over here on the right side of the image and let's do a new layer via copy and it's copied this layer in the same exact spot so we're just going to go ahead and move it and let's do another uh, layer new and via copy and we're going to take this layer and place it down here and of course all I'm doing is taking my image and placing it at the bottom of each layer and of course we'll do one more new you could also do a duplicate layer we'll go layer via copy and we will just click and drag this layer over and now we've got our four images uh, selected and placed here uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this lesson this is a shorter lesson uh, we'll wrap this lesson up if you have any questions please uh, email me or ask me in class for help uh, I'll be more than happy to help you. I hope you were successful in this part of the lesson. And we're going to move to part four now, where we're going to learn how to name the layers, make sure that they're all organized correctly. I purposefully uh, placed one of these layers out of order so that you would be able to see how to move them into the correct order. And uh, again, if you have any questions, see me in class. And we're going to move on to part four. And good luck to you. And if you need anything, come see me.